welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified of our latest videos. Thank you! For today's video, I will teach you how to describe the strength, form, and direction based on a scatter plot. That is, the fourth competency for the fourth quarter in week 7 in the subject statistics and probability for grade 11. This is actually one of the most essential learning competencies identified to be given and introduced to the students for this school year 2020 to 2021. So, let's get started. How do we interpret scatter plots? First, let us define what is scatter plot. The most useful graph for displaying the relationship between two quantitative variables is scatter plot. A scatter plot shows the relationship between two quantitative variables measured for the same individuals. The values of one variable appear on the horizontal axis, while the other value appear on the vertical axis. Each individual in the data appears as a point on the graph. Many research projects are correlational studies because they investigate the relationships that may exist between variables. Prior to investigating the relationship between two quantitative variables, it is always helpful to create a graphical representation that includes both of these variables. Such a graphical representation is called a scatter plot. As in any graph of data, the overall pattern of a scatter plot can be described by its form, direction, and strength of the relationship. An important kind of departure is an outlier, an individual value that falls outside the overall pattern of the relationship. Now, let us interpret scatter plots based on its direction. One important component to a scatter plot is the direction of the relationship between two variables. So for its direction, we have positive association and negative association. Two variables have a positive association when above average values of one tend to accompany above average values of the other. And when below average values tend to occur together. Let us have an example. This example compares one's heartbreak experiences and their trust issues. These two variables have a positive association because as their heartbreak experiences increases, so does trust issues. Two variables have a negative association when above average values of one tend to accompany below average values of the other. Let us have an example again. This example compares student savings and their expenses. These two variables have a negative association because, in general, as a student's expenses decreases, their savings increases. Now, let us interpret scatter plots based on forms. Another important component to a scatter plot is the form of the relationship between the two variables. It could have a linear relationship or a curvilinear relationship. To understand it better, please take a look with these examples. This example illustrates a linear relationship. 
This means that the points in the scatter plot closely resemble a straight line. A relationship is linear if one variable increases by approximately the same rate as the other variables changes by one unit. This example illustrates a relationship that has the form of a curve rather than a straight line. This is due to the fact that one variable does not increase at a constant rate and may even start decreasing after a certain point. This example describes a curvilinear relationship between the variable age and the variable working memory. In this example, working memory increases throughout childhood, remains steady in adulthood, and begins decreasing around age 50. Lastly, let us interpret scatter plots with the strength. Another important component to a scatter plot is the strength of the relationship between the two variables. The slope provides the information on the strength of the relationship. They could have a strong relationship, moderate relationship, and weak relationship. Please look closely on these illustrations. The strongest linear relationship occurs when the slope is 1. This means the twin variable increases by 1, the other variable also increases by the same amount. This line is at a 45 degree angle. The strength of the relationship between two variables is a crucial piece of information. Relying on the interpretation of a scatter plot is too subjective. More precise evidence is needed. And this evidence is obtained by computing a coefficient that measures the strength of the relationship under investigation. That's it! I hope you have learned something today. Interpreting scatter plots based on its direction, form, and strength. See you in my next video for another day of tutorial. If you have questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, Dazzling Guises.